sacred sound and sacred sacred sound and sacred geometry. We found that sound has even lately revived coral reefs. Now, sound is usually considered a conscious vibration that expresses emotion. However, we create sound consciously and through our thoughts. Both conscious and unconscious sound create a frequency and sequence which can heal and restore our natural rhythm, our harmony, or can distort and confuse our natural rhythm, bringing disharmony. So even our thoughts create frequencies. In other words, without our speaking, our thoughts have power to create frequencies, and that also affects everything around us. Sound, in its purest form, is a natural expression of the divine voice in action. In times of great wisdom on planet Earth, her voice and expression could be understood and used to create, heal, bring balance, harmony, and transform. The sound was holy. Sound is holy. Uh, the word Jericho is Greek, meaning hieros hijos, meaning holy sound. The mysteries of our sacred sound are revealed once again to be used for the highest good of the planet and all that exists on it. With an open heart and mind, we can learn how to create sound for the purpose of the divine power. Every treatment must begin with us, as in and out, according to the spiritual law. As we move into the fifth dimension, our vibration must be tuned to this frequency. And that's why many people are currently experiencing profound physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual changes. And learning how to understand and work with the frequency and vibration of sound can help us create an inner harmony that allows us to fully enter a fifth dimension. And as we evolve into this, we create the stability that will support others to do the same. It's clear that we need to learn how to heal and maintain our own harmony and there's no reason to focus on getting rid or trying to get rid of our own unwanted energy. You can get rid of something that belongs to you. Simply put, our energy is our energy and it can go anywhere. It can only be loved, healed, healed and transformed. And for the most part, actions that do not belong to our energy field can be removed. However, once we become more skilled at restoring balance and harmony within ourselves, we're less likely to absorb the negativity of other people. So how understanding the frequency and sacred geometry can help us create the vibration of the fifth dimension. We can describe the frequency simply as the rate at which the energy flows. Sacred geometry has two key faces. First is the shape or the form, which is the male face. And second, there is the feeling or sensation that comes from experiencing the form, and that is a divine feminine aspect. Understanding and working consciously with sacred geometry can heal and restore balance to both our chakras and energy centers and the chakras of our planet. And Heart Math has done a lot of experiments on this. We can, even with our thoughts, stop solar storms. This is what they found through evidence. Now, when we are in perfect harmony with creation, our energy flows freely, the energy flows freely, we become one with everything. However, achieving this is the first step. We have to also learn to maintain this pace by developing a subtle understanding and awareness of our own frequency, adjusting it in order to maintain balance. So if we combine sacred sound, frequency, and sacred geometry together, we have the tools we need for that. And this form of healing utilizes the divine energy, so it's important to recognize that when we speak of understanding, we mean knowledge from a purely sensory perspective. We must feel what is happening and let our minds take its place to be present in the experience. This is from a translated article in the Adrastika.
If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media, and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.